Hi guys, welcome back to Over Easy Acres. I have not been filming regular videos in a long time, so I don't know if you've kind of noticed or if that's something that you have missed. I got busy doing YouTube shorts and they were just so fun to me to be able to show you everything that we've been up to within 60 seconds and so I kind of got addicted to making them and then neglected making the longer version. But I realized that there's some things that probably I haven't updated you on and haven't been able to chat with you. And so anyway, I just thought that I would take this opportunity to say a hello in person. Well, sort of in person. Cut that through the screen and then just show you what we did today. So we went out to the farm and just uh, checked on the chickens. They are doing really well. If you didn't see the previous uh, vlogs about raising meat birds, go ahead and check those out. We kind of show you the step-by-step -step process and they're to the end. And so they have an appointment coming up here in a few days for their freezer camp. One bad day. Um, but anyway, it's a really convenient process and so I'll show you more about that later. But here I'm just going to show you what we did this morning. So you're going to see that here in just a couple minutes. Went out to the property, just checked on them and they're doing really well. They're getting really big. We have lost a couple though just because of how big they got. So things that we'll learn for next time. But anyway, um, I'll just let you watch along and then I can narrate as we go. But anyway, really good to see you. Uh, and I hope Hope that I can start making some regular videos as well as keep you in the loop through the YouTube shorts so just let me know if you like watching shorts or if you like watching this longer format because I'm happy to keep up both or do one or the other anyway all right I'll let you watch now you guys know I always start a good trip with coffee and I made this one myself so here we are out at the property Here's the birds. They're getting pretty big. I'm going to show you um, kind of how they're doing. I mean, look at these things. They are massive. These are so much bigger than anything you're going to buy in the store. We have raised them from just two day old chicks that we got in the mail. And so just go be sure to check out that vlog if you want to know how to do that or you're interested in doing it for yourself. Um, you can start to see the hens don't have the red on top and the roosters do. Uh, we just got a cross of females and males so we didn't really care they are now about 10 weeks old I have to double check my dates but yeah about 10 weeks old so sadly we have lost a few in the process we lost one as just a chick and we've lost uh, three others I think just because they go lame they eat so much that they grow faster than their bones can keep up with and so they just go lame Here's our dog. She just really enjoys the chicken life. So here it looks really pretty, like a beautiful day, which it is, but it's currently 95 degrees. It's supposed to be a high of about 103 today, so very nice and toasty. There's the girls walking around our trailer. It's a little home away from home. And I just think these little white flowers are so pretty. I don't know what they are, but they trellis and they just grow so nicely. They're about the only things that are growing. As you can see from the landscape here, there's a lot of brown, not a lot of green. Um, it used to be green, but now it's just kind of dead. So here was my experiment with dry gardening. I showed you that in a vlog. I thought I would just experiment. Here is a zucchini that I planted. Well, it looks like actually let me show you first on the right there, those dark brown clumps. <laughs> those are tomatoes that looked beautiful at one point and no longer. Here I planted three zucchinis. One on the left is completely dead. This one is actually thriving. It has this beautiful dark green color, which gives me a lot of hope for when we're out on the property permanently, that we do have good soil. We just don't have a good way to water right now. I checked inside, I don't see any fruit on this, but I do see there are a couple flowers there. I don't really know that anything is gonna come of this. I'm not too hopeful. But again, like I said, it's just an experiment in dry gardening. I didn't know if it would work. Apparently bone dry is different than just dry. Yeah, this one's not doing so well. It didn't even try. They needed some water. <laughs> just didn't have enough. Here were areas that were supposed to have something in them. What even was that? Oh, it was a green bean, I believe. I had planted all these green beans and some okra plants. Nothing really came of them. 
Again, you can see that white flower does really well. It's a hardy weed. It doesn't seem to need a lot of water at all. We thought this was going to be a really quick trip out to the property, just feed the birds and check on them and then go, but we realized that they really need more food than what we had. So we headed to D&B, it's about a 10 minute drive from us, and got another bag of uh, feed. Their last, their last meal, the last supper I guess I should say. Again, it's kind of overcast and cloudy, but hot, so she's over there playing in the mist. Oh, and she found herself a chapstick in the store. It's called a potato chapstick. Never tried it before, but it smells like strawberry and she loves it. My lips were dry and I could not resist this balm shot. I had never tried this before, but it looked pretty fun, so I had to get that. So here we are just finishing up. He's just going to empty this last bag of feed into their big uh, trash bin that we use. Again, showed you how to make that in one. Just put the PVC corners down in the bottom and then you can just empty this big huge bag into it. I think you can fit a couple bags actually into this. But anyway, it's made it possible for us to only have to feed them once a week during this whole process. And then we have a 50 gallon barrel inside that holds all their water. And so they're set up for a week at a time. So we haven't felt like we can't do anything during the summer over this. Now we can feed them up until 24 hours before their appointment. So it means that they do need a couple more days of food. Then we'll just make a trip out the day before we'll pack up the birds into a dog crate and then we'll bring them to our house because they won't need again the food they will just need water they'll spend the night and then their appointment time is 5 45 a.m. so early morning ahead but um, otherwise this has been a really good year this has worked out easily we seem to have a system down when I say we I mean he he has a great system down. So um, he has made this very possible for us to be uh, eating homegrown birds. So anyway, that's it on the chicken front until it's their moment of truth. Thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe, then you'll be notified when we make other videos. And otherwise, I um, hope that you just enjoyed this. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, friends.